Hello and welcome back to Road Trippia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode, day number 153 of the 365 day trivia road trip. This is a year full of daily 21 question random knowledge trivia quizzes. They get posted every day. There's 20 questions up front. There's a question 21 tiebreaker at the end of the video if you need to stick around for that. Thank you for watching and good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. When this country's president, Juvenal Habyarimana, was killed in a plane crash, some took advantage of the incident. What is the name of this East African country where in 1994, the Hutus committed genocide against the Tutsis? The answer is Rwanda. Question number two. This 2013 video game follows the adventures of Joel and Ellie, two survivors in a post-apocalyptic America attempting to find a cure for a fatal fungus. What is the name of this survival horror zombie game that was adapted into an HBO TV show? This game and the show is called The Last of Us. Question number three. One man with this last name was the U.S. President during the Billion Dollar Congress. Another man with this last name led forces against Tecumseh at the Battle of Tippecanoe. What is this last name shared by Presidents Benjamin and William? That would be Harrison, Benjamin Harrison and William Henry Harrison. Question number four. John Steinbeck won the Pulitzer Prize in 1940 for this work. What is the title of this novel that chronicles the Jode family's journey from Oklahoma to California during the Great Depression? This Pulitzer Prize winning novel was called The Grapes of Wrath. Question number five. The blue ring type of these animals is poisonous to humans. These animals do not have a skeleton, but do have a beak near their mouth. What are these animals that are quite intelligent and can shoot ink in self-defense? The answer is the octopus. Question number six. In 2012, this singer had the longest run up to that time on the US Hot 100 music chart for a Canadian female artist. Who was this pop singer whose 2015 music video for the song, I Really Like You, included Tom Hanks and Justin Bieber? The answer is Carly Rae Jepsen. Question number seven. People in a choir who sing in this vocal range are called octavists if they can reach an octave lower than this range. Baritone lies between this range and tenor, and this range is usually written on a clef shaped like a backward C with two dots. What is this lowest vocal range? The answer is bass. Question number eight. In 1978, this man pled guilty to cocaine trafficking charges and served over two years in federal prison. Flash forward a few decades. What is the name of the family-friendly comedian who played Tim the Toolman Taylor on Home Improvement and voiced Buzz Lightyear in the Toy Story film series?
The answer is Tim Allen. Question number nine. Set partially in France and partially in England, what is the title of the Charles Dickens novel about the French Revolution, in which Sidney Carton replaces his look-alike at the guillotine to protect Lucy Manet? This Charles Dickens tale is a tale of two cities. Question number 10. Written by the poet of To a Louse and To a Mouse, a poem about this country's national dish hails the great chieftain of the Puddin race. What is this nation whose poet Robert Burns wrote the Address to a Haggis? The answer is Scotland. Question number 11. Chemical reactions happen at different speeds. What is the term for a substance that increases the rate of a chemical reaction by temporarily lowering the activation energy required? The answer is a catalyst. Question number 12. Some examples featuring this verb form would be the working man and I am running. These parts of a verb can be past or present but should never be left dangling as this often leads to great confusion. What is the name for this part of a verb that can end in ed or ing? You never want to have a dangling participle. Participle is the word we're looking for. Question 13. During Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Cedric is killed by this wizard, a friend of James Potter who becomes a Death Eater. What is the real name of this man, nicknamed Wormtail, who can transform into a rat? His name is Peter Pettigrew. Question 14. This 1974 horror film is often noted as the first slasher film, a subgenre known for its gore. What is the name of the film that follows a group of friends that encounter the infamous murderer Leatherface, best known for the weapon he uses to kill Franklin? That slasher film was Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Question 15. The title character of this book gets into trouble with his father Lester Tilling. Gregory dies in this book because a rat chews his rope. That rat hatches a plan with the servant girl Mig to kidnap Princess P. What is this 2003 Kate D. Camillo book about a mouse with big ears? was made into an animated movie. It is The Tale of Despero. Question 16. In Lin-Manuel Miranda's hip-hop musical Hamilton, the song A Winter's Ball references this group's Hey Ladies. Who was this musical group that was responsible for No Sleep Till Brooklyn and Sabotage? That group was the Beastie Boys. Question number 17. His work of Plymouth Plantation documented the founding of the Plymouth Colony. 
who was this man that served as the governor of the Plymouth Colony for many of its early years. The book of Plymouth Plantation was written by William Bradford. Question number 18. Who was the African-American orator and founder of the Tuskegee Institute who argued for a compromise in which blacks would accept white political leadership in the South in exchange for education, employment, and equal treatment under the law? This man's name was Booker T. Washington. Question number 19. A lost battle at this building was avenged at the Battle of San Jacinto. Davy Crockett and Jim Bowie defended what building but were ultimately killed by Mexican troops led by Santa Ana? The answer is the Alamo. Question 20. This biblical figure was thrown in jail for refusing the romantic advances of Potiphar's wife. This man slipped a silver cup into a bag of grain after his brothers, including Gad and Judah, sold him into slavery. Who was this man who owned a beautiful coat? The answer was Joseph. Joseph had the amazing Technicolor dream coat. And that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Check back tomorrow because tomorrow we start the pit stop trivia quizzes. Two days of like much quicker, like lightning round style trivia. The questions come quick, the answers come fast. The name of the game on the weekend is speed. We're in, we're out, we're back on the road on Monday with regular length trivia. In fact, I think on Monday uh, we have another quiz written by Jeannie and Dave Junkins. So make sure you stick around. If you're not subscribed to the channel, feel free to do that right now. Here is question 21, the tiebreaker for today's quiz. In a glass jar, Abby has 24 marbles. She has a 1 out of 8 chance of drawing a pink marble. How many pink marbles are in the jar? I feel like this one's pretty easy, so it should be whoever guesses it first wins the point. Not whoever's closest. If you have a 1 out of 8 chance of picking a pink marble out of 24 marbles, there are 3 pink marbles. 3 is the answer. <laughs>